Pisces. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again, Pisces. Pisces. It's Water Sign Wednesdays and you're on deck. So, let's take a look at what's going on with the Pantheon of Pisces this week. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You've got a lot going on. You really do. And I love Pisces um, energy because you never really know what's going on with Pisces. You never really know how deep. Like they could just be sitting there quietly. You know. And, and it's almost unassuming. And then come to find out. <laughs> Like what Pisces is really up to. I guess that's why that energy, that the, the Piscean energy is, for me, it's quiet. My grandmother was a Pisces sun, Capricorn moon. And she was, I only knew her as a grandma. So I didn't know young grandma when she was in her teens or 20s or 30s or 40s, even 50s. Like I wasn't born until she was 60, right? So... I always knew quiet, Grandma, but there was always something behind those eyes that you knew was deeper, that there was more to, but she had such wise words, so wise, the wisdom. Yeah, that's that's my experience of, of Pisces, of the Pisces energy. It's a beautiful energy. So let's see what's going on, Pisces. Come on now. You're being quiet. The cards are being quiet. Pisces, let's take a look at what the pantheon, there we go, of Pisces. Oh, are up to Pisces. What's this disappointment? What's this with the five of cups? What is this disappointment all about? Hmm? You're focusing in on the spilt cups and you have two full cups right there. Let's see what the crossing energy is about. The eight, okay, I see, I understand. Pisces, you're getting into your head. You're getting into that negative, um, I'm hearing self-sabotaging. Like when you have two full cups right behind you and you've turned your back and are focusing on what didn't work and what didn't happen, on, it's, it's that spilt milk energy and that you're trapping yourself in your head. Your higher self is saying, Pisces, you know what to do. You see that what you've learned, apply it. Apply what you've learned about emotionally regulating. Apply what you've learned to calming your mind. Apply it with the Page of Pentacles. Now, focus and foundation. Have patience with yourself. Do you see these two cups? The two cups are right there. Have patience with, if you're feeling emotional, if you're feeling yourself going back into that poor me, um, nothing ever works out for me, uh, victim mode, Go be patient with what you've learned, Pisces. This was what I really want you to know. This is what the cards are saying in the recent past. King of Swords, I love this energy. The King of Swords is logic. The King of Swords is information. The King of Swords is also wisdom. It's integrity. The King of Swords can and does detach from his emotions to continue his day, to go to work, to really... Um, Keep his life in order. There's a sense of balance and justice that also goes with the King of Swords, especially when you're, you, you tap into that Libra energy. There's a sense of playfulness. I know a lot of King of Swords, especially with readers out here in, in YouTube, that don't give the King of Swords his um, the Gemini energy. And I know Gemini energy. I live with the Gemini. I know a lot of Gemini energy. And the King of Swords is also that playfulness. He is the one who has, who you want on your team when it comes to, um, you know, game board, board game night. The one that has a lot of random facts. That one will say, do you want to know an interesting fact? And it's this funny sort of clever, 
a playful king of swords energy. That's the Gemini side of the king of swords when we talk about Gemini. Diplomacy and fairness and what's just is that Libra energy and of course the out of this world uh, quantum king of swords information that you would just blow your mind like that's Aquarius energy. So when I've seen the king of swords come up in the recent past you could be dealing with a king of swords for for some of you Pisces. Of course you could. Absolutely. But I want you to tap into that energy. Tap into that energy of what you've learned on how to um uh, what's the word I almost said temp temperance, but uh it's like a <sighs> temperance. Yeah how to balance out your fire, which is your get up and go. That's your soul, really. It's your soul's purpose and your emotions because your emotions can get the best of you, Pisces. It really can. And when I see two car two cups here that you've turned your back on and you're playing around with these two cups, be patient with that process and really apply because the page of pentacles is what you've learned, apply that which you've learned, to turn around, get in your head with the King of Swords. Now, of course, some of you could be dealing with a, a Gemini, uh, Libra, or Aquarius, but that's beside the point. This is your energy. Turn around and take a look at that Two of Cups. Now, in the near future, the Five of Wands. Pisces, you are you are ready to, and again, this is fire energy, so we've got the balance of fire and water here. This if you see the the face of this character, he wants to fight. He's ready to fight. And what are you ready to fight for, Pisces, is the question. How you see yourself? Having the strength, again, more, this is Leo energy, having more fire. So really firing up about. Now, also, I do have to say this, especially with the swords, the King of Swords can get in your head. The King of Swords can lock you into this idea. And this is the energy that helps or hinders you. So it's definitely hindering you if you're feeling the five of cups. Just saying, we got two fives right here. How other people see you. There's that fire, Pisces, that King of Wands. We got two kings on the table and they're very masculine. King of Swords, King of Wands. You're ready for a fight, Pisces. Other people see you as really standing up, standing up for and having the strength to stand up for what you believe in, for what you, this is the, 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 the battle card. What are you working on? This is your hope and your fear. The three of pentacles is a working on something and it's almost behind a veil, behind closed doors. You don't want people to see what it is you're working on. That's a hope and your fear and the outcome, Pisces, the tower. Pisces, 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 the tower, bottom of the deck, that which you might not see. This is a potential outcome. So we'll, we'll get some clarifiers on this, Pisces. That which you might not see is you moving forward and taking action, taking action. And what is it that you want to take action on, Pisces? What is it that you want to get done? What is it that you want? I kind of feel that you want to move to calmer waters. When surprisingly it's the Six of Swords comes out. I feel that all the effort that you've put into something, all the planning um, that maybe may not be coming to fruition, you're ready to, because the, the sun is in the background. You see the colors. That's that. And um, that sun, it's that Leo energy. And I've got Leo right in the corner here. So where's Leo in your chart? You might have a Leo moon. Oh, I don't know, a Leo, especially with this five. Leo, I don't know, a Mars or a Venus. Well, some of the personal plans, Mercury in, in Leo. Oh, Pisces. There you are. This is Neptunian energy. This is you taking a look at things from a different perspective. And what perspective is that, Pisces? And again, I like that taking a look at things from a different perspective is landed right beside this King of Swords, which is you looking at what's fair, of what's logic, of what's just, of what's um, truth, of clarity. 
and you're waking up. You're waking up with this judgment card. You're waking up to what? To maybe how you keep yourself in a mental prison, to how your patients, maybe for this process, how your patients, if there have been some, if, if these two cups that you've turned your back on, if there have been too many battles, too many, you know, squabbles or whatever, having the patience, maybe you're really waking up to, I have been too patient. I deserve better. I'm not interested anymore in squabbling and fighting. I would like to have a peaceful life. For some of you Pisces, this is exactly what it is. So the Page of Pentacles. There's that three, the three of wands. Interesting. Taking a look at things from a different perspective of how you're going to move forward with this three of wands. And the wheel is turning in your favor, Pisces. Look at that. Look at how she's looking at that coin and I see I know their moon phases but I see coins I see different phases like this you could have had the ten of coins and over here you could have had no coins in your bank account and then at different stages you've been up and down as far as money won lost given taken that's what I'm feeling with this this wheel of fortune that you've really and so this planning this putting all, don't put your all your eggs in one basket that's all I've learned that you do not pull you put all of your eggs in one man's basket I'll tell you that and yet when I see one coin I see one opportunity I see a page who's learning about this could be how to earn money um FBA is a thing right like how to earn money how to have different income streams, how to, if you have social media, if you have these media sites that will uh, monetize, how do I monetize? I haven't monetized and yet I have all of these followers, right? Like there's a lot of things that you can do to really um, make, and, and you could be just learning. I know I'm just learning a lot of things, right? And, and it's that wheel that's turning in your favor that you could be waking up to how to do this and having patience with the process you focus and foundation for a lot of you yeah i'm going to put this right here that you are waking up to how to take care of business and not not let these emotions really get to you you could be looking at things from a different perspective i know this energy that i was off the internet i didn't want anything to do with it i could make money you know, in, you know, boots on the ground, kind of Knight of Pentacles energy. And then I learned, whoa, you can do it online doing what? Really? Okay, well, I took a look at things from a different perspective. Maybe I'm not so afraid of the internet. Maybe I will take the time to learn and to apply and to take those steps forward and to be patient, right? Like I'm really, there's a King of Cups here. There is a King of Cups. Now, this is the masculine of the cup family. It's Scorpio energy for me. However, Pisces, this is also you for all you masculines out there. This is King of Love, King of Cups. This is the very mature King, masculine. And I've got the King of Swords. I've got the King of Wands and now the King of Cups, Pisces. You are really getting into that masculine. And it's a beautiful, masculine energy is beautiful. Just as feminine energy is beautiful. And masculine energy just goes, gets up and goes and learns and leads and loves. That's what masculine energy does. Feminine energy receives. Feminine energy supports. Feminine energy grows. And to have both equalized within each of us, would definitely solve the weird transhuman problem that we got going on here in this day and age. That's not really, it's a transhuman thing. It's a, uh, it's a thing. We'll save that for a different read. King of Swords in the recent past. This, this getting up into your head, for some of you, this is Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius. And for some of you, this King of Swords made you very happy. But I'm feeling that this is you getting up in your head and out of your emotions is what, and information and learning and being logical. This really brings you, and again, masculine energy. The sun is masculine energy. And communicating, communicating that which 
you know, that which you've learned, that which you which makes you happy and communicating what it is that makes you happy in a way that is of the mind and not so much of the emotion. That's for some of you. But this battle, this five of wands, you are battling for equal give and take. This could be financially. This could be work. Let, let, let's say you, you live with someone. Again, I've got you turning your back on two cups. You live with someone, whether it be a king of swords, a king of cups, or a king of wands, whatever that means to you. Because I got Leo all over this. I got strength, Leo card. I got the sun, Leo card. I've got the king of wands, Leo. Just saying. For you femmes out there, for you feminines, any, any one, pick one. That, that applies to you. A king of swords, a king of cups, or a king of wands. And what I see is you battling out for, for, for equality. Um, and I don't mean on a feminist front. I mean, I've been with the kids all day. You've come home. I just need a break. I just, mama just needs to go outside, have a tea, go to the store, go somewhere to get away from these little munchkins just for a minute. It's your turn. Uh, it's the weekend. And you've just come, you've worked all, and for some of you Pisces, you've worked all week. And you want help with the housework. You want help with tidying up. You want help with this equal give and take. So it's almost like this feeling of you're willing to battle out for, and if you're in a partnership, um, in a relationship, that there's equal give and take on the work front, on what I give, you give, what I do, you do. And it's, it's balancing out. It's not breadcrumbing. I don't want to, yeah. The end of battles, the ending of this cycle of of not feeling valued, of not feeling, because um, this is Taurus energy. The Six of Pentacles is Taurus energy, and that's knowing your value. Pisces, you know your value, and sometimes you forget and fall back into this Five of Cups. Know your value and be willing to fight for it, and that's what I really love. Be willing to fight for it. Again, this is Leo energy, strength. We got another five, the five of pentacles. Feeling left out when it's regarding this two of cups, which is right here. Now, have you been blocked? Have you blocked? Have you had the strength to block? something that's done, being right below the world card. Is it a king of wands? Let's see how other people see you. The other people see you is really emotionally, I see this four as stability, again, emotionally regulating, or for some of you getting bored with the same old love. Isn't that a Selena Gomez song? I'm not sure. I just, I heard the song in my head. Um, and your walls are up. People see you with your walls are up. And I find it very interesting that he has one wand. And in the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, there is the eight wands, which is right here, making a wall. And the wounded warrior with that wand, that one wand, just needing a break, almost there, just need a break. To really take a look at are you emotionally stable? Have you balanced out your emotions? Have you expressed what you truly feel? Have you expressed your, um, your happiness, what that means to you? And are you working on your confidence to be able to speak up for yourself? There's a tough decision that has to be made. It could be regarding work. It could be regarding love that you might have been bored with. And where we go, we go back to the Five of Cups, right there, that you're waking up to a different perspective. And the ending, the war, the, the, the karmic, ah, I could see the Wheel of Fortune as a karmic wheel, just saying, because as I say, going through a karmic cycle with the world has brought down a tower for you that you're not really doing anything about, you're letting it fall with this Four of Swords right beside that Two of Swords, the tough decision that has to be made. And through work, this is your hope and our fear, having to make that tough decision about a disappointing love. Wow. 
that you've manifested. Now, I have a question for you, Pisces. Did you manifest a tower and an ending without even knowing it? With this Five of Cups energy of crying over spilt milk, of, you know, um, not seeing the Two Cups behind you, of turning your back on the Two of Cups and having this, did you block out emotionally um, or communicatively the Two of Cups? Like, there's there's an, a question that I have, especially with it being above the Five of Wands. Did you manifest because we are all master manifestors whether we know it or not whether you believe it or not we are so i tell my kids what you think about you bring about so what you think you're manifesting so if you think it's going to be disappointing yeah it is you are correct because you're manifesting disappointment if you manifest or you think about i'm being left out in the cold yep yeah, you are are you manifesting there's going to be a fight yep yeah, and there's a fight see i knew it so what you think about, and this is where the Eight of Swords is very important, Pisces, is that what you think about in these, these mind prisons that you put yourself, that you manifest yourself into, they show up in the real world. This is a fact. Start noticing. Start separating, as the King of Swords does, from your emotions and start really paying attention to what it is you think about. What is it that you think about? Do you think about happiness? Do you think about comfort? Com Do you think about <laughs> fun conversations? Do you think about where you're moving forward? Do you think about the wheel turning in your favor? Are you always like, oh, glass is always half full rather than, or half empty rather than half full? Do you think about all the hard work that you've put into being patient with your love? with your lover, with your family, with your friends, with your co-workers. How do you think about your life? What do you think about? I'm just curious, Pisces. I just want to know how you think. Are you a positive thinker? Do you think that even when things are tower terrible, that you'll come out, that I will rebuild after this tower has come down? Well, at least I'll have bricks to build my next tower on a firm foundation, says Pisces, right? The Three of Wands, which we have in your higher self. Yep. You are looking into the future and you are emotionally walking away from empty cups and that which no longer serves you. If it's an empty cup, you're not interested. And you've got to then, Pisces, fill up your own cup. It's not anyone else's responsibility. Fill up your cup except for you. You know this. As the Queen of Cups, you know this. The Queen of Cups is Pisces energy for me. The Queen of Cups is a queen. She's my empathetic queen. She knows how to love unconditionally, and it starts with you, Pisces. It starts with unconditionally loving who you are, where you are right now, wherever that might be on the wheel, wherever that might be in the process of waking up, wherever that might be in the temperance of being patient about doing the work. It starts with internal work, of course. The mental work, the emotional work, and then it shows up on the physical. So, I see... 88. Oh, I got doubles up up in here. I got 44. I got 55. I got 9. I got 369. That's a special number. I read that somewhere. 369. I think it was like a Tesla thing I saw. 88. Let's start off with 88 and get some, some angel numbers on this. Ooh, 88. There's a portal opening up for you to step into a more spiritually centered life. Pisces. I see 369. Let's do 369. Wow, a portal. If anyone knows about portals, you and, and Aquarius. 369. You may feel sensitive at this time, Pisces, but it's important to listen in. As the motions rising up in you are messages about what's most important for your journey going forward. Yeah, and when we have the three of wands twice, that's the journey moving forward. 
absolutely. You've made all the plans, you've done all the things, and now it's time to move forward. Because the wheel is turning in your favor, Pisces. I see 44. Let's go back to 44. Ooh, your guardian angel is wrapping you in a cloak of loving protection. You are safe, Pisces. 55. Major shifts are taking place in your finances and state of abundance. Know that opportunities to soar are coming your way. I also see um, 59 and 242. Let's do 59 first. There's a chance for you to undertake major spiritual growth at this time. Open up to healing information. I also see 424. Let's do 424 and then do 242. Now, any numbers that you see on my table, Pisces, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and grab yourself a book for all future reads. 424, your angels are focusing on your personal relationships. Be clear, as the King of Swords is, about your feelings and share the love you have within with those you really care for. Now, last one, Pisces, 242 is what I see, 242. Two. Angels see you through the eyes of unconditional love. And isn't that what the Queen of Cups is all about? Know that you are loved beyond measure, Pisces. And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.